Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people in the Android community. I'm Huynh Tuet Dao, and I'm speaking with... Jessica Moon. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we are currently in Chicago for Chicago Roboto, where both Jessica and I are speaking. Mm -hmm. Jessica, uh, where are you based, and how did you get started in, in Android? Um, I'm based in New York, and I got started when I changed jobs and moved over to Drama Fever and became more of a product designer. So, yeah. Awesome. Uh, Drama Fever actually is uh, where Yash Prabhu, who is your co-presenter, yes. also works. And yes. she's also a friend of the show. We've had her on yes. before as well. <laughs> so your, your talk this week that you're doing with Yash is about mm -hmm. something that... I th I feel like, well, I know I'm interested in, but hopefully a lot of other people are interested in as well. And that is the workflow between designers and devs. Yeah. Um, we've had a lot of growing pains over the years. We started off as a product company. We've kind of grown into something else. And we've noticed that through the changes that we've had with the, within the company, we've also changed technologies and we've also needed to do a lot, things a lot faster. And we realized that there were a lot of holes in how we were working. Mm -hmm. And so this talk is kind of covering how we kind of the challenges that we had, as well as how we're choosing to um, fix those problems. Awesome. So, um, is it, is it kind of like very specific on process and like different tools? To yeah, use? I think it's process. Um, we haven't really introduced any new tools yet. Right now, we're just kind of like let's organize the things that are wrong and mm -hmm. let's figure out how to talk to each other more. I think the main key was um, how we are trying to remedy things with simple tools like talking mm -hmm. and documenting things more, mm -hmm. um, as well as trying to just be aware of what each other's doing more often. What What do you think were like the biggest problems that you had in terms of like workflow and, and communication between the de like the product uh, design side and the engineering side? I would say one of the biggest things was that our developers are based in Philly. Mm -hmm. So, you oh, know, okay. we usually communicate through Slack and we're kind of used to that, but we noticed that over time the developers were working in their own kind of boxes and we were working in our own boxes and then we communicate over Slack and there was a lot of things that were weren't really spoken about. It was mm -hmm. just like, I understand that I need this and you understand you need this. So we kind of just missed each other a bit, you know, yeah. um, we were able to kind of release things quickly and do all that stuff. But there was a lot of small things that started to build up. How did like you kind of get to the point where you kind of got together and said, hey, we should make some changes? What, like, like, was it just like everyone just got to the point where they just couldn't stand anymore and it just, <laughs> where, how, how did that start? Um, we were, we became a little bigger recently and we had to uh, turn out a project product pretty quickly within mm -hmm. two months or so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and we did it and it was great. And we we're like, yeah, they did a good job. <laughs> and then afterwards, the developers were like, uh, we have some problems. Mm -hmm. And, you know, designers were like, oh, well, we have problems. And so we actually just got into a big room and just started complaining to each other. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Like we you... just became honest about what what the problem was. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I, I feel like, you know, and I've been on previous gigs before where, you know, I, I think in the way you, you phrase that was perfect. We're all mm -hmm. in our own little boxes. Yeah. And it's weird because it feels like the most... The, the most efficient thing would be for designers and developers to be in the same box. Yes. We're <laughs> working together, yeah. but either because of like team structure or other things, maybe even company structure, you, you don't get that as often as you'd hope. Mm -hmm. So, and I like that, just sitting in a room complaining about things. Yeah, and I mean, we to... got real, and there was a lot of things that we both didn't know that upset each other, you know, and like there was a lot of things that we thought were obvious to the other person or the other teams, mm -hmm. um, and we, it just really shed light. It was so much better than Slack and just being like, oh, this is what's wrong. I need help with this. Like it just kind of opened up a more human side of each other mm -hmm. rather than just like getting something out. What did you actually focus kind of like your improvements on? Well, I think one of the main issues is that our d designers don't focus only on Android. We do um, iOS, right. we do smart TV, we do Roku, um, we do web. So we kind of do everything. Mm -hmm. And because the designers have very different backgrounds, um, we don't always specialize. And so there's a bit of a knowledge transfer problem. So anytime a developer would work with a designer our team, um, we wouldn't transfer that knowledge to each other. So that was kind of the, a big problem on our side. Um, so the de developers were kind of repeating everything over and over again. And designers were just coming at things like, oh, I didn't know this was new. I didn't know this was introduced. Um, so that was kind of one main thing. So we started creating a documentation for designers mm -hmm. to understand Android and kind of have a document that grows with us. So we have it casually as a Google Doc. 
It's very simple, but we're mm -hmm. like, we don't, it doesn't matter at this point. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of tested it with our junior designers and they're like, I wish that I had this before. This was super helpful. <laughs> like, and we didn't realize how simple the solution was, you know, yeah. um, from the developer side, I think it was more helping us learn terminology. So for one big thing is, um, and Yash has explained this to me multiple times, match parent and rap content. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We don't know what that means. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. And so we started doing screen heroes and like they would actually show us and say, this is what happens when you do this. This is what happens when you do that. And um, it really helped us, us a lot because we're visual learners. So, right, yeah. right. And so that, that kind of helps you kind of understand like maybe like, I guess, um, feasibility maybe or, yeah. or like kind of like what, what we can do to, I guess what we can do and what you can do and how we can, right. where, where the two kind of intersect. That's really cool. I never thought about that. Yeah. Well, Cause yeah, that's kind of like one of the first things we learned is match parent versus <laughs> rap content. But obviously that's not something that we can, you know, that we should necessarily expect you to learn. And I, right. I think that's really what you said too was interesting is that you can't expect everyone to like have backgrounds in the exact same thing because yeah. obviously like some people may have had more experience in iOS or web mm -hmm. and that, you know, and, and, you know, I know like as an Android developer, I really, really hope that, you know, designers will, will kind of like be open or, or kind of understand Android design, but obviously you have to be able to communicate and talk and, right. and get that experience. So that's really cool knowledge sharing. Awesome. And, and a Google doc, so it, it, that seems like a cool way to do it too, is really, um, not casual, but kind of just not, um, not too much commitment, I guess, or yeah. not too much, like not too heavy, too much heavy process right. involved and that's the thing is like a lot of the designers like we have our own preferences of what we like to work on but at the same time um things are changing really fast and you know what if there's another technology that comes on or what if there's another thing and we just don't have time to keep up and create a formal process or mm -hmm. formal document so we're like let's just do what we can right now and let's evolve it as we grow mm -hmm. and at least like what we can do for our designers and our developers is give them the chance to download as much as they can mm -hmm. for what we have learned so far. If any maybe developers out there, sorry I'm a little developer centric being a developer myself, <laughs> but so say like there's a developer out there that feels maybe they are kind of in a separate box and they've got their designer over there in another box. Yeah. Can you maybe kind of give them some first steps or do maybe just some tips on how they can break open those boxes and, and, and learn to kind of work together a little bit better? Um, I think it's having empathy and realizing that, you know, the designer is not always going to know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And we have a developer who loves to speak in very technical terms and it will, it will completely lose one of our, best um, Android designers mm -hmm. like and, and just understanding that we don't know, always know where you're coming from in the same way that um, you know we talk about fonts and like move this and that's not perfect mm -hmm. and you guys may not know like what is she talking about this looks fine you know right so right it's like understanding that both of us aren't going to understand each other and completely mm -hmm. and um, from there I think the conversation gets easier right and yeah. but of course we're all you know we're all kind of trying to build like the best product we can yeah. it's just sometimes we kind of are a little bit yeah. pointing, maybe slight, <laughs> pointed in slightly different directions. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, I think all of the talks will be recorded this week, and I will definitely. Well, uh, so unfortunately, my talk is at the same time as Yash and Jessica's talk, no. so I will definitely be <laughs> waiting for the video. But I think it's a really important topic because obviously, if we want to build beautiful, awesome apps, we have to work together. Yeah. It's like it's like both of us, both sides of the of the same yeah. kind of project working together. So uh, definitely check out Yash and Jessica's talk. Uh, thank you so much, Jessica. Yeah, of course. If people wanted to find you on the internet, how can they do that? You can find me at Twitter at SWNMN. <laughs> awesome. We'll have like a little banner like right oh, around great. here with it. So, cool. but thank you so much, Jessica. Yeah, thank you. And thank you all. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.